slide 59, lesson 3, special letters in front of words, example texts. Now I'm going to show you a whole lot of example texts with uh, these special letters in front of words appearing everywhere, just to show you how often they do appear, and they do appear often. So we'll have a look at uh, texts that use the hey and the vav and the bet, uh, the the, and, and the in, if you like. The first one is from the first chapter and the first verse of the Bible in Genesis or Bereshit. And the very word Bereshit means in the first or in the head or in the chief or in the beginning. Be Rashid or Be Rashid. So the Be means in and Rashid means first. Of course, all of these words you won't necessarily uh, know. Uh, that's not important. The important thing is to see how often these letters appear in the sentences. So the first sentence is Be Rashid Bara in the first Bara created. Elohim, God, et ha shemayim, the heavens, ha shemayim, ve et ha aretz, and is the va, et ha aretz. We'll talk about the et, the aleph tav, in a later lesson. So here we have the, the vav. Appearing once, the hey appearing twice, and the hey means the, and the vav means and, and the bait appears once. This bait here is part of the word bara, and as we saw in the first lesson, Hebrew words are usually made up of three root letters, and there are various other letters that can be added to the front or end of the word. Here we have the plural endings, the im, im. So Elohim can mean God, but it can also mean gods. Uh, so that gives um, plenty of heretics um, uh, excuses for saying all sorts of things. But certainly there is a plurality to Yahweh. His son comes from him, and all the angels are called Ben Elohim. But there's only one father. Only one father. So anyway, Bereshit bara Elohim et hashemayim ve'et ha'aretz. In the beginning, created Elohim, God, et hashemayim, the heavens, shemayim, the heavens, ve'et ha'aretz, and the earth, ha'aretz, the earth. The second example uh, from uh, 25 verses later, in Genesis 1.26, Va Yomir, and he said, Va Yomir, Elohim, and God said, or and he said God, and God said, Na'asayadam, let us make man, but zalmenu, in our image, so here we have a letter bait in, in, but zalmenu, in our image, kadimotenu, as our likeness, dimotenu. Again, you don't need to remember all these words, but uh, you'll become familiar with a lot of words that appear often in the text. You'll come across Elohim all the time, God. Viyardu uh, and um, uh, let them... Uh, have dominion, bedagat, on the dagat, the fish, hayam, of the sea, the sea, hayam, uv, off, and on, here's the u, the vav, meaning and, and here's the bait, meaning on, and here's the, the, the actual noun, the off, the, the birds, uva off, and on the birds, Ha Shemayim, of the heavens, the heavens. There's no word for of uh, that's usually used in Biblical Hebrew. We can use the word shall in uh, modern Hebrew, and that can be used in Biblical Hebrew, but 
most of the time the word, the word for of is just implied. So, and on the birds of the heavens, the heavens, ha shemaim, and on the beasts, uva behema, and on the beasts, behema, uv kul, and on all, uv kul, haaretz, the earth, haaretz, uv kul, and on all, uv kul, and on all, ha remes, ha remes, that creeps, uh, the creeps, <laughs> that's quite funny, the creep, the creeping things, ha, that creep, ha remes, al ha aretz, upon the earth, ha aretz. Let's have a look at some more. We have the Lamed, which means two or four. We have Kaf, which means like, as, or according to. We have the Mem, meaning from. And the Shin, meaning that or which. So let's look at the next example. Vya'as Elohim. Vya'as. And, so here's the Vav. And, Ya'as, he made. Elohim, God. Et ha the firmament. ha the firmament. Va Yavdil and he separated Bain Hamaim Bain Hamaim the waters Ashir which Metachat from uh, under Larakia to the expanse or firmament Uvain and between Uvain and between Hamaim the waters, Hamayim, Ashir, which is from above, Ma'al, from above, Al, Larakia, two or for the uh, firmament, Larakia, Vaihi, Ken, and it was so. Again, you don't need to know all these words, but you'll come across some of these quite often. Ma'im is a very common one. Ashir, very common. Most of these words are quite common. But the main thing to note is how often these letters appear. See, so what we've learnt today is something you'll use all the time. Let's have a look at another example. The final example. This is from the Song of Songs. Previous one was from Genesis 1 7. This is Song of Songs. Kema'at, as or like, uh, a little, uh, Sha'avati Mahim, Ad Shamatsati, Et Sha'ahava Nafshi. Uh, a, a little when I passed over, that I passed over from them, Mahim, until Ad Shamatsati, that I found. Matsa means found, and Matsati I found. It ash, uh, sha ahava that loves nafshi my soul. Achazatev I took hold of him. Velo and not arpenu, and I would not let him go. It would not weaken my grip. Ad sha ahav sha ha. Vayatayev until um, until that I'd caused to bring him Al Bait to the house a house or the house of my mother in me the Al Khadir Horati and to the chamber of my parents or the ones that uh, bore me. So here we have the letter Shin being used um, to mean that, that, Sha Avati, that passed over, um, uh, Sha Matsati, that I found, or, or which I found, Sha Matsati, and Sha Ahava, that or which loves that or or that loves or which loves nafshi my soul. 
Okay, so we can see here that the, the letter Vav is used all the time. Of course, it would be. It's at the and. The letter Bait is used very often. And the letter He, of course, for um, the. So Hebrew is very much uh, co a compact language. And instead of having a separate word, we just have a letter. And instead of having it as a separate letter, we just attach it to the word. So these are some of the prepositions and letters that we put in front of words to um, make the sentences run along. And that's it for this lesson. Okay, well, you've hopefully just completed lesson three. And in part one, we had a look at special letters in front of words, the definite article, the, and the conjunction, and. And we've had a look at prepositions in part two, the bait, the kaf, the lamad, the mem, and the shin, which means that or which. And the suggested exercises, if you haven't already done them, Biblical Hebrew and Introductory Grammar by Paige H. Kelly, Lesson 5 and Lesson 6, and Basics of Biblical Hebrew Grammar by Gary D. Practico and Miles V. Van Pelt. In Section 2, the Basics of Hebrew Nouns and Nominals, do uh, Section 5, uh, or uh, Part 5, def the Definite Article and the Conjunction Well, or above, and Part 6, the Hebrew Prepositions. All right, well. Well done.